At first, there appeared to be nothing out of the ordinary about this bone. But this bone turned out to be rather special. Because what she was looking at when she placed the slide under the microscope had never been seen before. Staring back at her was something that shouldn't have been there. It looked like a red blood cell. And its chemical composition included a heme, a part of hemoglobin which helps carry oxygen in blood and gives it its red color. I was shocked. I was really surprised. The thing that was cool about it is we know very little, really, about these beasts that once walked on the surface of our planet. And all vertebrate organisms, except, well, almost all, except for mammals, have nucleated red blood cells. And these things that I was seeing in the vessel channels of the bone were nucleated. They were translucent red with a dark center. This evidence seemed to suggest that organic matter could, in some way, survive the process of fossilization. And what was so exciting about it is that the new tools and technology of molecular biology might now be used to understand these long-vanished creatures. It opened the door to the possibility that we could begin to understand the function, the physiology of dinosaurs in a different way. If we could get at the el elemental molecular structure, that's where the real evolutionary information is housed. And so um, being able to recover those things from a dinosaur would open the door to understanding them at a completely different level. She now set out to look for other evidence. That's if there was anything else to recover.